it's me Jess welcome to my channel I'm here with another channeled message this is a specific message it might resonate with you it might not okay so I'm picking up on a divine masculine oh that was actually a Freudian slip um it's a, a masculine energy okay but I'm getting that this masculine has turned a corner in himself so he could have been in some karmic energy here in the past and he is actually realizing that it feels to me like this masculine I'm hearing fresh off of the illusion train um and it's reminding me of another reading that I did not too long ago where I was saying look this man has one foot in reality and one foot in illusion and it felt like the illusion had to do with a karmic energy here from his past now I think for most of you that's probably a person that he put up on a pedestal um, and had the whole fantasy in his mind about this person he was kind of obsessed with her looks and um, felt that that meant more than it actually did kind of a thing or for others of you this could have been an illusion about a toxic behavior pattern that this masculine was in you know uh, you know it's not it's not a good way to treat people but the illusion part is that oh well this is maybe this is divine masculine behavior this is the pinnacle of masculinity but I do think that this masculine had a pattern of going back on their word and breaking promises especially and I just heard perhaps with most condemnation where this divine feminine is concerned. Like it feels like if you are this divine feminine here that he left you hanging or just was pouring time and attention into, this feels like other, like he was just distracting himself. That's what I'm getting. Like even if, uh, yeah, he was distracting himself. Now, either that's because he was preoccupied and like very fixated on this karmic energy here from his past, waiting for her to come back or waiting for her to um, see him and his worth and his value. <laughs> I just heard this is the conga line from hell. <laughs> so just make sure, and I think you've done this. I think you've separated yourself out from this man and his drama and his um, fixations and his, you know, his negative patterns you've like freed yourself here from this i do think that unfortunately well let me not say that um i do think that there may be some kind of soul or spiritual connection here because it seems to have sparked some kind of spiritual awakening on his side where he's woken up to himself here and he's realized that he's really fallen for a trap i just heard like the venus fly trap he's really debased himself in a lot of ways he's waking up to the truth of his reality and it could be that he's spun his tires he's wasted time and energy here um with negative patterns trying to keep himself available for this karmic feminine energy just you know waiting for her to be single and to finally choose him this is the karmic feminine energy that does not care about this masculine i think he's kind of a thing to do when she's in between partners um bolstering her like mate value on the market you know um she just doesn't stay single for long kind of thing um or he's her second option you know if other options that she wants to pursue more actively don't fall through then he's like kind of her backup plan sort of a thing and this masculine was maybe trying to do this to you because there is he does have feelings for you okay there is a nat you there is a natural you are his soul partner basically um you there's a natural connection here um between the two of you and i think maybe he thought he could harness that and that you would follow him around um like this lost little puppy if if he plays these like games but the the games have to do with communication and they also have to do with time and for some of you it has to do with like timing certain communications he thought he could build up this codependency and feed that and be uh, build an addiction in you towards him the same way that he feels about this karmic feminine so that you would then become his second option his thing to do like if that situation didn't work out but that's his story that's not your story because I can see he's a fantasist here and I can see that you are not you are very firmly in reality and so I think that you have faced difficult realities probably about him but I don't think that's the only difficult reality you have faced in your life and I just heard the word boon I feel like you're really gaining a lot my left hand is itching too which for me that's a sign that like you have abundance coming in or there's you're the empress so abundance is kind of like surrounding you but it's coming through you you're a highly creative person you're a very spiritual person and everything in your remit is very sunny and integrated um you're very in touch with your with spirituality with your divinity um you know what's important and truly your back is turned here to this masculine and now he's losing sleep over you he's really in his head over you because he's realized what he's done over here and he doesn't know how to reach out 
to you. He doesn't know how to get your attention. And I do feel there is karma at play here, like where the universe has basically given this man everything that he was trying to give to you. He was trying to have you in this energy towards him. Well, now look who's in the energy towards you because this man was not dealing in truth in the past. And I do think that's something that you feel you have to protect. Like you have, you feel you have to protect yourself from him and his fantasy his fantasies and the damage that that truly has caused because I do think it's an illusion and a fantasy that fantasy doesn't actually have real world effects because it's like this man just poured himself into this karmic and you kind of realize that whatever love that's genuine this is what's unfortunate it's like whatever love that is genuine between the two of you uh you know your first kiss your your love story your falling in love well it's not going to compare to the fantasy that he had with this with this woman this karmic in his past and and she doesn't live up to the fantasy either so, you know, I want to say like she is absolutely not the, the fantasy. She is absolutely not the pedestal that he's put her on. I think it was quite a crash actually for him. But the life that he had with her or the, the love story in his head and the, 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 the dream state he was in as they were going like he was around her, you kind of feel that your love story is not going to compare to that because nobody can compete with a fantasy. And I think that you feel that you have to protect yourself from that because you want to be cherished and you want to be valued and compared to what, like the fant the lie basically that he had really propped up for a long time about this karmic in his head. You, um, you know that you don't, you can't ever hold a candle to that. Nobody can. And he's put himself in that position, but other people that he may be have around him as options to other paths, because I do think you're closing yourself down to the, to this masculine. Um, they may not know him and they may not know that he has this history with this karmic. And, you know, so they'll kind of live that experience, but not really know it sort of a thing. So yeah, I just feel like your standards are different and um, you feel, yeah, you feel this man was a karmic lesson for you. And I do think he's a soulmate, but I do think he brought you many karmic lessons and it has to do with standards and it has to do with knowing your worth because this came out in one of the other readings and it's honestly been coming out kind of as a background in other readings. You are the divine feminine here. You are the prize. You are always the prize. And it's for everybody in this situation to understand that you are the prize. I also do feel this karmic energy wanting to play a little game. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, she's morbid and she's cruel, but it's behind this veneer. It's very Regina George. It's behind this veneer of being girlish. And so, um, and she feels he is her backup option. So she'll come around um, him just because if you are near him, she wants you to see him and his focus on her and that he would drop you in a heartbeat for her. She likes those kinds of things. She plays those kinds of games um, because she wants you to kind of feel a certain way. So I do feel she, I'm kind of actually, this is weird. I, I feel like she's been actually preoccupied with you. And for some of you, this is extra creepy because she knows who you are, but you don't know who she is. Um, because this man may, this could be a man where, you know, when you were um, in a relationship with him, he was telling you that he has, um, he, he maintains, I'm hearing you stay in contact with certain exes from Car that Cardi B song. Be careful with me. Yeah, that might be a, that's not a threat. It's a warning. Be careful with me. Um, because you are, you are the prize here. You're the divine feminine. And you know, you, you have had to wake up to your worth and your value, but you do not want to be disrespected. So, um, he may have talked to her about you, right? And this could be a situation where it's like, oh yeah, well, she's my friend, but then it's, it's, off kind of like in a corner or something. It's his dirty little secret is what I'm getting. And you probably picked up on that this was maybe going on or something. So this has been a karmic lesson for you. And he's um, been losing a lot of sleep because he's behaved very badly. And he realizes that he got the two of you in the wrong category. He thought this karmic energy who is queen of swords. And so it's erudite energy. She uses that, uh, it's, an, it's a kind of intellect in order to pretend and come off like she is all things. She also uses pretty privilege and she really rests on her laurels with that um, because she kind of has figured out that people will give her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, they don't hold her to the same intelligent standards. Like if she does, you know, it's, it's that pretty privilege kind of thing of like really, she knows people will kind of put her up on a, a pedestal and she really does the bare minimum. And that's exactly what she's done to this man. She's sort of, he, she's got him on the hook here and she just kind of strung him along with doing the bare minimum and he just freaks out like she's the Beatles, you know? And it's gross. And I feel like you kind of think that that's a gross energy that this man has simped out to such a degree, debased himself, been around town doing this in front of other people. So now if you kind of attach yourself to him, what does that say about you? I feel like you're kind of working through all these things. Actually, I feel like you're not. <laughs> um, I feel like, these are the kinds of things you considered in moving away from this man, where it's like, you don't want to be the clown in this situation. You know your worth, you know your value. Um, 
and even if you did feel like, okay, well, she's, she's clearly like who he wants. Um, I think you were like, well, I, I want somebody who wants me. Like you're not going to throw down over this man. So I think you did what this man could not do, which is to recognize the, the writings on the wall over here. And the writing is on the wall with her as well, because there's, she's chasing someone else or she's chasing multiple other people and she will put him down. Um, and pick him up as she so desires. This is an erudite lesson with him because she's erudite. She's like plain erudite and he needs to pick, he needs to be erudite. He needs to pick up on the hypocrisy of her. The, I say one thing with a smile on my face, but then I, I behave the exact, she wants him to think that, uh, I don't, yeah, she just wants him on the hook. I don't know. Um, she might be wanting him to think that there's a divine connection between the two of them, but she does have a weird fixation on you. Actually, she's wanting to compete with you actually. And I think when she comes back around to give this man any mind, it would just be to try to compete with you, to try to put you in your place or for you to understand a little something about him and where his attention is and that kind of thing. And he just loses his mind because he thinks, Oh my gosh, she's, he, you know, and, and again, I don't know how much of this is like very conscious, but it feels to me like you're out of this situation. And yeah, like you're not obsessing. You're just fed up. I feel like you're fed up with the situation. And now this, this man is like watching you. Like he's like monitoring you however he can. Um, I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm not getting like a weird thing over it. But like, I do think he's been like on your social media. He knows what he's done. He knows what he's lost. He's got you in the right category now. And he's got her in the right category now. And he's just so ashamed of himself because he has, this is an erudite lesson. So he's woken up to that using his intellect and he he knows where he kind of went wrong and um he knows that he feels different around you too because again you're firmly planted in reality he knows that you are a partner you listen for some this man even spoke to you about this feminine from his past like he might have just been like telling you all about their relationship and you could tell that he was like still hung up on this person or something. I don't know. Um, but this man knows that you listen and you communicate very well and that you're very confident and that, um, he does have feelings for you. It's just that he's like, he's wrapped up in his own, like with his karmic over here that he, that always has him losing. And he needs to like, I think he felt like, Oh, time and communication is going to fix this situation with this karmic, but it won't because she doesn't respect him. And she's, he's not what she's looking for at the end of the day. And she would accept him if her other options run out. And if something to do with timing runs out, um, yeah, he's going to have himself, he's on the losing end with this karmic, but I feel like you think, and you know that you would be on the losing end here with this masculine. And I do think that you've had to turn away from him totally and that you have done that and you are you are fed up here. And so now he's faced with the consequences of his actions and who he's pursued. And I think that's another thing, you know, he's pursued her hard and like, even like to the point of debasing himself or making himself look like a fool or something. And that he really did the bare minimum when it came to you. And I just don't think you're impressed with it. And, um, yeah, it does feel like, I think you feel this man as a karmic. I think he's a soulmate, but, um, I just think that you're moving away from this because he has been karmic to you. He's put a lot of karmic, he's levied a lot of karmic shit at your door. Um, yeah, but I think that again, you are, some of you, you're into your spirituality and I feel like you're getting stronger. You could be working out. And for some, there's something to do with like a love situation that might be coming in or, oh, you've got somebody else watching you as well. Okay, you might have more than one person here who feels like they dropped the ball with you. That's just watching you live your best life. And they feel like they caught, yeah, oh my gosh. You may have more than one person in this energy and they feel caught. They feel like called out. They feel like they have behaved very badly. They're being confronted with their karmic lessons right now. Um, if they're in other partnerships, whoever these people are, they're heartbroken over you and those partnerships are very rocky. I feel like this first guy that I was picking up on was left out in the cold. Sooner or later, that's what's going to happen between him and his karmic because the karmic just doesn't, doesn't really want him to be honest. Um, or she wants him when she wants him, but she just has no intention of, um, committing to him. And like this other person mate that I'm picking up on now, it's, um, might be watching you through a secret account and they're just not happy with, what they're seeing, like it actually maybe pisses them off that you're doing so well. I don't know. You've got a lot of people kind of realizing who you are and yeah, you might've had to learn how to go it alone. 
I do feel, yeah, there's no peacemaking here in these situations. And it is because you've blocked off this energy. at the. And I'm going to say like you've blocked off these masculines, but really what you've blocked off is the treatment here. Nobody who wants to treat you this way in this manner is going to be in your life. Yeah, you've got abundance coming in for doing this. The universe is rewarding you. Okay, but there's something secret about this here as well. There's like a secret, oh my gosh, abundance. Yeah, I think spirit has a surprise for you um, when it comes to some kind of masculine energy. Um, yeah. I think there's some kind of fortune that is, there's some kind of surprise. I feel like that's waiting for you here. So, and it's a reward for closing down these karmic cycles where you are not being valued and getting your value where it is appreciated. I think spirit hid the fact that you are abundant. Some of you are abundant. I mean, you're certainly abundant in spirit, but spirit could have hidden the fact that you are um, more abundant than people realize or that you have this fortune coming in for you from these people because I think they would have tried to use you for that. But anyways, um, yeah, this masculine, there's the masculine I was first picking up on, I do feel like is in is in divine masculine energy. It's like his divinity was put to sleep here by this karmic in the past. Um, he was just like sleepwalking, dreamwalking, um, like through life, like with this karmic, he was just so fixated on this like dream. And again, I personally find that like very, very unattractive. And I just kind of don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. I think that's kind of how you are about this situation as well. This man wants to send you a love message. Um, but he knows he's got a pattern of breaking his word when it comes to you and it's come to bite him in the butt. So this is a karmic consequence. Anyways, I'm going to leave that there. If that resonates, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. <laughs>